reach the room, but... <laughs> All right. Uh, do we want to move on to the yeah, path? Yeah, we do the path. Okay. That was a good discussion. I like that. All right. So, there's no new pets news, but uh, we got some uh, over-under for um, the AFC teams for their um, records this year. Um, or wins, you would say, right, Mike? These are wins? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, we're going to... I'll go over, like, what the over-under is for the amount of wins each team is, and we'll each go, and we'll say if we're over or under on it. Next week, we can do the NFC. That's All right? the plan. Sound like the plan? Okay. No. You got a problem or something, Mike? Just your <laughs> Okay. All right. First up is our team, the New England Patriots. The over-under for wins for the Patriots is 9.5. Over. I'm smashing the over. I'm doing over, too. Under. Oh, you bum. You know, it's under. Different. What's your reason? <laughs> I just still don't think that their offense is going to be good enough. They just need a de- decent quarterback play, and they'll be good. Yeah, but are you saying that you want that's, your that's number one wide receiver guaranteed. to be someone like Kendrick Bourne or Nelson Aguilar, who apparently had been dropping passes like usual in camp? I mean, yeah, I wish they had a wide receiver one, but I feel like they're not going to get the most targets. It's going to be John Smith and What was it, Hunter nine Henry. and a half, you said? Yeah. yeah. I could see, they, they're going to be, I'm not saying that they're going to be way under. I'm, like, they're like going to be close. Games. I could see eight or nine wins. It's yeah. going to be hard. Like, you brought in two tight ends. Top, I, I think that. they're two top ten, ten tight ends. Well, yeah, obviously. But still, I just don't see them getting over. Like, I, I wouldn't, I'm not saying I'm not going to be surprised if they get over. Because right now, I'd say it's like a 50-50 shot. It's just my gut, like, it's a gut feeling saying to that it's going to be under nine and a half. I think you got to go off this. They won seven games last year. They were very competitive in a bunch of those games. Like, I'm thinking Seahawks, Bills, Chiefs are three games they could have easily won. They also had some fluky wins, though. Like, the Cardinals, like, I mean, should they have beaten the Cardinals? No, I mean, yeah. but anyway. Same with same with like a team with Baltimore who just like ha- wasn't playing good at the start of the year. Frankly, they should. They would not beat Baltimore right now. The first no, game. But, and just keep on. We got seven, give or take. That's what we should have been. Yeah. I think we should have like it. We could have reasonably been over that. Yeah. And but there's another game added, and we got all the free agents. Defense. Our true. defense is going to be stacked. I, we got I seven forgot, I forgot that back. it's another added. We game. do have a better team than last year. I'd say. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Absolutely. And Bill's going to be a mastermind at, at coach. So we're trying. Okay. To okay. I'm. This is like. Give me eleven or twelve. The win total. I hate that people will still say Belichick is like the best coach in the game. Who is better than him? I, I, if I'm being honest, I would take what's his name from Kansas City over him. Andy Reid. Andy Reid. What has he done? He just has the most talented team. <coughs> second most talented. He didn't do anything until he got the best quarterback, second best quarterback in the league. Right. Like, <coughs> best quarterback. Yeah, <laughs> my boy is coming back. You, you must have forgot. Like, your boy I, about to be suspended. You can get him in fantasy. Baby. I know. I'm gonna pick him off of my bench until he starts actually your, playing. Your boy about to be suspended. He's not. Yeah. Coop, I don't think anybody's going to be trying to grab Deshaun Watson, so I think you'll uh, be okay. He's on my big board. First round pick. Your Deshaun big board Watson. of big boys? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I have a whole board like Goop. I gave him the idea. I but, need to make that. But now. yeah, I, no, I just hate the, like, like people will just say Belichick just because it's Belichick now. It, like, let's be honest. He did not have a good year coaching last year. I think or he did, as a just to get him seven wins. Maybe GM, no, but he, as a he coach. He didn't have a whole lot to work with. Mm-hmm. No, I know. Well, he's the GM. Yeah, GM, he was bad, but, uh, but coach, still, he was good, I feel like. I, I don't know. I just, like, obviously things can, he's still, like, one of the best coaches of all time, if not the best, but he just, he didn't have a good year this year coaching, and you can't just say he did because he's fucking Bill Belichick, like, no. Oh, if you watch it, like, it's I that team. A lot of teams aren't going to win seven games with that team, I mean. With Cam Newton as quarterback after getting COVID, he had a good first two weeks, then got COVID, and then sucked the rest of the year. His, like, game plan, his schemes, like, we were competitive in that Chiefs game with Brian Hoyer as our starter. Like, that's yeah. impressive. Yeah, that's don't, very impressive. Don't, don't tell Deshaun, but I almost traded Deshaun straight up for Cam in week two. Yeah. That's great <laughs> don't, GM don't, over Don't tell him. We want to talk about bad happened. GMing. No, that was bad GMing by the other guy who didn't take the trade. Yeah, that's fair enough. That was Connor. <laughs> All right. Next team. We have the Bills at 10 and a half. Give me the over. over. I'm saying over. Oh, absolutely. Too much talent. All right. What about, how about I reset it? We'll say the Bills at nine at uh, 11 and a half. I'm still smashing over. Give over. me the 12. They're going to get 12 or 13. One. Uh, I, I, I think they're going to sit at 13. They're going to ball th- club. I say under. I don't think they're going to be 
as good as they were last year. No. Their number two receiver. Emmanuel Sanders. No. No, he's about to not play. Cole Beasley. Why Cole Sand? Beasley. Oh, Beasley's not going to play. <laughs> what like, the fuck, they're, they're Their team is already beefing with each other over vaccinations. <laughs> on, Twitter. on Twitter. On Twitter. Not even they're with each other? Yeah, Jerry Hughes yeah. and uh, Cole Beasley. Jerry Hughes is like, man, I can't, I can't, I can't see why people are this stubborn, man. Like, just get the vaccine and save it for everybody, G- and it's G- not costing the Judon team. Judon literally tweeting out that people who, like, in the NFL who aren't getting it are just dumbasses. Yeah, yeah I love oh, Judon. I feel like they're obviously going to be a good team. I don't see them being like, maybe like record-wise, they're still going to be at that same spot. But I just still don't see them being as good of a team. Like, obviously, their team's still young and developing. But people after having a whole year to watch Josh Allen and what they do with Stephon Diggs, with Stephon Diggs, it's gonna be easier to catch on to. It's like the same thing with like Lamar, his first like big year, he was unstoppable, and then you come back this year, and it's like people know how to guard him now well, and what to do about it. I think it will be a lot harder to stop Diggs than it was Lamar because you could build a wall with Lamar. That's true. Like I'm not saying that they aren't gonna be like I see them still like killing the over. Yeah. yeah. Alright. All right. Um Dolphins. Nine and a half. Under. Over. Give me ten. Give me ten wins. Under. Jalen Waters. I'm going Please. with the over. I think it's gonna be close. I think it's gonna be a bigger year for Tua. He's gonna have to be. He has weapons too. Jalen Waddle. Will Fuller. Jalen Waddle. Jalen Waddle. Will Fuller is out the first four Parker. weeks though. I still it was just the first one. <clears throat> no first four, I'm pretty sure. Really? Still he'll still get wins with them. I want Jalen Waddle. Um uh, Miles Gaskin. Love that guy. I think they... Like Gisicki. Gisicki's like a good tight end that people forget about. Yeah. I think they're going to do what very good this year. I have a feeling Miles Gaskin is going to bust this year in fantasy. I wouldn't be surprised with that either. I'm not going he could. That. He very well could. But. I have him as the 23rd ranked rece- uh, running back in fantasy. It all depends on how run and pass heavy they are. It depends on two mainly. True, because isn't he... Yeah, he's a running quarterback, so... That would be interesting. If, if two actually... If like, he's the RB one, <laughs> yeah. I think like I Lamar think, uh, like they're gonna run a, run a lot of like Screen. sweet like sweep routes for like Jaylen I think they're Waddle. gonna use Jalen Waddle in like a Tyree Kill role where they just give yeah. it to him behind the line and then just let him run. Yeah. So badly. All right, we have a lot of teams to get to, so we gotta keep going. <laughs> yeah. We gotta bust through these. Teams. Yep, we gotta bust through them. All right, Jets six and a half. Over. Under. 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 Over. Under. Over. You said over? Yeah, I'm going to give him at seven or eight. Yeah. Think Zach Wilson's going to do good? Honestly, he has, he has targets. He has people he can throw to. They have Corey Davis. Corey Davis. Uh, Mims. And then they drafted a, a wide receiver. I really Elijah like. Moore. Yeah, he's, they, have a good, they have a good talent around. Like, yeah, but you, do, you also don't know how they're actually going to be because Corey Davis has had one good year. Elijah Moore... I, I feel like he'll be a good wide receiver. Rookie but some, wide receivers, you just never know. But some, yeah, and someone like Denzel Mims, you also don't know. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of unknown, but like from what I do know, like from what I've seen, I feel like you gotta get at least have some kind of confidence, and I'm gonna go over. I All also right. I also like their new running back, Michael Carter, also yeah. out of North Carolina. That's someone I, if you're looking for a sleeper rookie fantasy running back, look into Michael Carter. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Into account, they're playing six games against the AFC East. Yeah. Which has become a very strong Constant. division. Yeah. yeah. All right. Chiefs, 12 and a half. Over. over. Smashing the over. Over. Easy. Chiefs, 13 and a half. Over. Over. I think they're winning 14 to 15. Yeah. I think they're winning 13. I, I m- m- maybe, maybe 13 or 14 because I feel like they're going to rest players towards the end of the year because they're just going to have that good of a record. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're right. still the class of the AFC. That was a quick one. Steelers, nine and a half. Or oh, under. Give under. Me eight. They're going to have a discipline. <laughs> here. Under. Uh, I'm going to say, I mean, I'm trying to think. It's, because it's a I, don't know, I don't know how their schedule is this year, but I think they went from having one of the easier schedules to one of the hardest, so I'd say under. I think any, every AFC North team is better than them, to be honest. I, I Even just, the Bengals. I, they were not. I wouldn't say the Bengals are. Know, they may, the Bengals probably have a better offense but they still have a pretty abysmal defense beat them last year the Bengals get a game out of them this year i think joe they the Bengals. yeah right. well, Br- 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 they didn't have joe burrow and they beat him on and remember they're when winning. i remember when i beat you in fantasy because of that game all right moving on <laughs> <laughs> browns ten and a half over, over. under they, they're just too talented under i'm yep. not i'm not high on baker but like you, you they have so much talent man 
10 wins. They played even better without OBJ, and now you're going to have a hopefully healthy OBJ. And they got the nice secondary they added. The poop man. They, they brought in such a good <laughs> secondary. John Johnson, Troy Hill. Jeez Louise. They have, I would say they have a top five defense. Yeah. Now. Easily. Yeah. Easily. Plus their O-line is nasty. They their have two O-line great is running nasty. backs. Great good running wide backs, receiver good core. Receivers. Have a good tight end. Decent QB. They have, they He's have, good enough. He's they good have enough a QB. lot of... They, because you have someone like Austin Hooper, and then you also have what's in Joku. Yeah, yeah, they're chilling. All right, Bengals six and a half. Over. over. Give me seven. Over. Give me seven. Actually, seven. is, is yeah. Joe Burrow going to be ready for the start of the season? Yeah, he's going to be probably a week. Yeah, over. over. Give me I'd over. have them at like seven. Right. Seven to eight. Yeah. Broncos seven and a half. Over. Seven and a half. Under. Who's the quarterback? <laughs> Drew Locke, baby. Who's their quarterback? Drew, Drew Locke. Yeah, the worst quarterback in the league. He's going to get beat up by Teddy Bridgewater. He's not going to get beat up by Teddy Bridgewater. Oh, Teddy B is there? Yeah. Teddy Two Loves? Yeah, over. I'm over. Taking the over. All right, I'm taking they the have someone like Cortland Sutton coming back. Yeah. You have to yeah. keep that And going. I like Jerry Judy, too. Yeah. Jerry Judy is still someone that can be very good. You got to get better. You dropped too many balls last year. Yeah. Raiders, eight and a half. Over. Under. Over. Under. Under. I'm saying they didn't really add anything. They got they had a decent O line. They got rid of like multiple guys over there. I didn't bring like Devonte Adams. Over. Uh, I'm or Roger. I'm I just refuse to believe they're gonna be that bad. Either. Yeah, they're not. All right. <laughs> Titans nine and a half. Over. Over. Julio is there. Yeah. You know, I want to say under because I hate their defense. They don't have John Smith added anymore. Bud Debris. I'm gonna say. They added out. Uh, who they add? They from. What did you say, Mike? Over. Over. Yeah, okay. a Jared Cook. Throw Is that a uh, everyone's getting over on this one? Yeah. I'd say I'd see them having a down year though at like ten or eleven. Yeah, okay. but I think nine and a half is just disrespectful. Yeah. All right. Colts ten and a half. Over. over. Too much talent. Under. Too much talent. Everyone. Under. Yep. I'm taking the over. Barely. They they have a top defense in the league. They have a growing <laughs> offense. Carson Wentz isn't taking that anywhere. Yes, he is. I think it'll be better than yes, Rivers. It's either he, they're either going to be way over ten and a half or way under. Or yeah. like if Carson Wentz shits the bed, there's still seven. There's or eight. way too I many think, possibilities. I think they're going to be team. sitting right around nine or ten. Way too many possibilities. Even if he's trashed, there's seven or eight teams. There's too much talent. They, even if he's trashed, they can just go to the running game with their top, probably number one O line, and yeah. great running game. I take Cleveland's O line over theirs honestly now. It's close. That's good. Yeah. But no, Car Car. Carson Wentz is going to have a good year. He's back with his offensive coordinator. When he was having his MVP year, only to get injured, he should have... If he was healthy, he would have won that MVP over Tom Brady. Yeah, but I don't think he can go just off that. I, like, I, I get coaches can make a big difference, but I don't think you can go from worst quarterback in the league. What year was that? Nasty. That was 17. No, I'm not saying That's he's going to be That's four years nasty. ago, man. Yeah. I know. I'm not saying he's going to be nasty. He's going to be good, though. He's going to be serviceable. I see him, potential-wise, upside of a top-10 QB. <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's is that is that that's in fantasy or just stats? Wise? In general, Hold on, let, me, let me take you through that. I'm gonna name you a quarterback okay. and just throw I, him at me if okay. you think he'll be better. Josh Allen, no. Pat Mahomes, no. Kyler, no. Lamar, no. Dak, no. Herbert. I could I, shut up. I, I could, you can debate. That. No. <laughs> you, you're going off such a small sample size. Of Justin Herbert, you've seen. There's been so many players who have such a good rookie year, and then they have their sophomore slump. Yeah, but that's he, that's what I'm looking at. Yeah, but Carson Wentz was literally the worst quarterback in the league last year. You said Drew Locke was. You're very contradicting over there. <laughs> well, it got to the point where Carson was no longer a starter, so I don't even consider him right. one of the. Do you have any more names, Mike? Because he said top ten. Stafford. With the I, oh yeah, yeah, absolutely not. Give me Stafford. Give me Stafford all day. On okay. That. Russ Russ Wilson. Yeah. Probably not. That's Aaron Rodgers. That's gotta be ten quarterbacks right there. Well, we don't even know. Deshaun Watson. If, if he plays, Rodgers. if he plays, Aaron. If Rodgers. he plays, if Rodgers is playing, Rodgers is like a top three QB somehow. If if he plays, Deshaun Watson. No. Tom Brady. You can debate that one. That one's debatable. Carson Wentz currently. <laughs> no. I don't know about that. <laughs> no, that's ten. Okay. <laughs> I say I'm not saying he's gonna be. I said upside. My, top it's five. okay, Mike, because I think Dak Prescott's gonna be a top five fantasy quarterback. Oh, top five yeah. fantasy quarterback. Yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of hard not to be. I, I said top fifteen, Him and top Herbert. ten, upside. Yeah. Herbert's not gonna be that. You never yeah. know what's gonna happen. Upside, top ten. That that leaves a lot of Herbert doesn't have a All right, there's still guys like Joe Burrow, Ryan Tannehill, Matt Ryan, Trevor Lawrence. Oh, yeah. That's my case. You can't All put right. Trevor Lawrence Trevor in there. Trevor Lawrence is not going to be up there. You can't even put him in there. You can't just put him in top ten. You can't put him above anybody, really, currently. Yeah. We're talking about, like, you know. Okay, next team. No. 
You yeah, oh, predicting. Yeah. We're predicting yeah. here. All right, let's burn right. through these last few. Yeah. All right, Ravens, 11 and a half. Under. 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 I, over, over, over. Over. Under. Under. What'd they do? Yeah, they're not going to do anything. Exactly. They're just a solid, very good team. They, they were hot at the end of the year. I think they're going to sit right around 13. Yeah. All right. Go. Jaguar, six and a half. Under. Actually, over. Give me eight. Yeah, I, yeah, I think they're going to be right around this? five or six. Jags. Jags. And what was it? Six and a half. Six and a half. I'm gonna be, I think they're going to be sitting right around five to six. I'm going to say they have four wins. Yeah, I'm going under on that one, too. Give me, give me eight wins. I'm, gonna, I'm feeling bold. Okay. Chargers, <laughs> nine and a half. Over. Under. Over. Absolutely. Under. Under. That, over. That, over. I think that ca- I think that's kind of consistent with your with your Justin Herbert take. You think Justin Herbert's gonna regress so you think of- No, the way I'm thinking they have sub- they have a really good offense, but their defense. Their defense is a terrible. The only the only person that could possibly save their defense is Derwin James, and he's a safety. He's a safety. A safety's not gonna win you a game on defense. The ball hawk. Like that the things that's going to be holding them back is their defense. You had someone like Kenneth Murray, True. who they drafted, who had an abysmal year last year as a rookie. Yeah, they a they, they rookie. don't have a lot of good defenders. A lot of rookie defenders last year was tough, like Akuda, Simmons. I just think it was, it was, it was, it was, it was a hard Akuda. year to come in as a rookie. I think we should give them another year before we evaluate anyone from last Simmons year. was playing good at the end of the year, yeah. too. All right, back to you. All right, last one. Texans, six Under. and a half. Under. Depends on if Watson's playing. Even if he plays under, with, well, with they have no Watson, talent. They won like four games. Down, I was thinking under, but on the way here, Deshaun's <laughs> coming back. I don't is know if he's going to play. I'm taking the over, Mike. If Deshaun <laughs> plays, I'm taking the over because Deshaun will will you to like. Not with that team. Not that eight eight wins. Wins. Deshaun will will you to eight wins. Not willing you to shit. With or without, I'm saying under. Mike, I'm with you, buddy. Uh, but if he doesn't under, play, really, I don't. I don't think he's under, gonna play. Yeah, so if he doesn't, it's, pro- yeah. it's probably gonna be under. Cause I don't think he's playing. But yeah. if he plays, it's no. If, if he doesn't play, that's like two wins. Yeah, you exactly. have the Colts and Tech or the Titans, who are probably gonna be in the division with Sean, a lot of blitz. He's definitely gonna be in the division on their team, okay. and then they can't play. No. <laughs> oh wait, I see what you did there. <laughs> nice. Okay. That's your boy. <laughs> All right, we can wrap it up now, I guess, huh? He's doing that Ben Roethlisberger. <coughs> He's smoking that Big Ben pack. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else have anything to say to the viewers? Uh, free Deshaun. He's <laughs> back. I couldn't be happier. <laughs> Go Jaron Duran. Uh, I guess so. Jaron Duran.